Hi, it's Tracy. So today the topic is one extras. What is the one extra and how do you use it in your work? Well, the one extra was built upon the law of reciprocation. And in a sales environment, it's proven that if you do something for someone that's unexpected in the form of a gift, it's proven to increase the odds of closing on the next step by 70%. So let me say again, the odds of closing on the next step by 70%. And it is critical that your next step involve getting people back on site. I don't have the exact statistics, I'll be bringing these to you, but Jim, who's our lead researcher, um, and he works on our research projects, just did a, a new analysis for us. And I just got it over the weekend on email, so I need to look at it. But I was not surprised, but excited, when I saw evidence based on numbers across our client base that the close conversion of a lead who's been in more than once, who's come in for a second visit, was twice what the close ratio was for people who came in once. And it only makes sense. Yet many people work to get their tour in, and then they just don't kind of they don't know what to do. They they might make one or two follow-up calls, leave a few messages, but it's just checking in to see how you're doing. There's real no no focus on getting them back. We need to get them back in. And if you can schedule that return visit before they even leave your community, then you're gonna be more successful. Meaning you need to use your visit planning sheet and think about what it is that you need to offer them in your close in addition to a deposit to get them to come back. Whether it's certain residents you're gonna engage with, a dinner, a Friday night cocktail party, um, tea time, a tennis match, whatever it is you're offering that appeals to their interests. So now the one extra is the gift though that you would strategically pick out uh, before they show up for their visit. So you might, when, now listen, if you go back to your inquiry connection sheet, this is where it all happens because you have to be able to drill down and learn about them on the inquiry call to understand what's important to them. Then you would pick out a gift. It, it could be $2, $3, $10, it's up to you. What I'll tell you is that money will always get you one of your greatest returns. It is a fact that people who are one extra close faster than those who don't and more often. So you can um, pick out a personal gift. I'm just going to give you an example. So here's a nice little card that I received this week and it really moved me and it was a thank you card from um, two people, the Beacon Hill team um, that I just did a seminar with with Presbyterian Homes and it was very thoughtful you guys. So if you're watching this, thank you. And they heard me, I, I assume, talking about how much I love Starbucks. So they sent me two of these via Starbucks ready to brew. So it was just a nice little thoughtful thing. Wasn't very expensive, but the reason it mattered is because I always talk about, I guess, in my seminars that I love Starbucks. And they picked up on that and they didn't have to do this, but they chose to do it. And it really meant a lot to me. And I will never forget this team. And it just sticks out in your mind. Now, there's another example. So this is a wonderful um, one extra by my awesome CEO, COO, Julie Podowitz. Now, excuse me, my kids have already decorated it with their little jewels. But she picked out for me um, this, she ordered it from a, a Photoshop called Unique Letters, unique-letters.com. I love this. It's out of uh, Florida. And she had my last name spelled. I hope you can see this. And you pick out the letters to spell the name. And this is um, a reasonable gift. They charge by the letter. I think it's $10 a letter. So most of your prospect's names aren't just like, ow, two letters. So that could be $30 to $50. But if you're, say, a high-end CCRC, and your entry fee is $200,000, and you're working with hot leads, and you're trying to close a sale, that is a good investment of funds because this is going to make impact, make you stand out. They're never going to forget you. I was blown away by this, but she did it because of the company name Build and of course, my last name for me to put in my office and um, just as a memorable memento. That's an extravagant example and then a very simple example. Um, you can print things off the internet. What it matters is that you do something. Now, we've been advising many of our students to also just create um, a cabinet and find something that is representative of the geographical area your community's in or something that's unique about you and have a, about 20 pre-made kind of package gifts not logoed and branded with your company information. Just thoughtful things that you might pick up at a Hallmark 
or a pet store if it's pet, tennis, but we don't want them to scream your community name because then it's all about you. It should be about um, the person, like the build and the coffee. That, that didn't say Presbyterian Homes on it. So think about things that are personal, meaningful, and then that's what you could create. You might have a budget that we're gonna spend $8 per lead or $5 per lead. And by the way, it costs you five to $650 just to get a lead. So to spend an extra few bucks to one extra them, to secure the odds of this sale moving forward is one of the smartest things you can do. But we have to remember is you have to spend money to make money. I know a lot of you don't like to hear that, but it's a fact. It is true, and I believe my accountant just told me, because we were going a bit overboard, but we love to do one extras, that you can do up to $25 uh, per client. So just something to think about, EDs. You're going to have to buy into this as well, owners. Um, this is an important business strategy, because once you get that lead to the door, that's not what's important. What's important is getting them to come back and come back and get the deposit and get the move in, and then you have really succeeded. So think about listing for details when you're talking to people. If someone says, oh, you know, I'm Irish and I absolutely love Irish food, well, what can you do for lunch that's Irish themed, a food of some sort? Um, or is there something you can pick up that's Irish that is like $3 that's just going to be cute? Or an Irish poem or something you could download from the internet? That's what I'm talking about with the one extra. So start them today. Do an experiment on your next 10 tours. Do one extras on every single one. I guarantee it will be your greatest move-in month ever, hands down. Thank you.